The Fassel Vega FVFBS is a car produced by French automaker Fassel from 1954 until 1959. It continued to be built until 1962 as the HK500. The Fassel Vega was launched at the 1954 Paris Salon, although the first prototype had been completed in October 1953. Originally the model name was Vega, but they gradually became Fassel Vega with FV followed by a number indicating the iteration. By 1956, the cars were called FVS, for Fassel Vega Sport, in the United States. The 1954 versions of the Fassel were fitted with a DeSoto Firedome, Chrysler, 4.5-liter Hemi V8 engine, paired with either Chrysler's two-speed powerflight automatic transmission or, at extra cost, a four-speed manual made by Pont et Moussin. At this stage, the 180 horsepower, 132 kilowatt FV was capable of a top speed from 172 to 193 kilometers per hour, 107 to 120 miles per hour, depending on which rear axle ratio was installed. The chassis, designed by Lance Macklin, was tubular framed, featuring coil springs and double wishbones at the front, with a leaf sprung live rear axle. The styling, by Danino's himself, was somewhat American and perhaps a bit heavy, with rudimentary tail fins. The body was an expanded version of the earlier, facile-bodied Simca, Ford Comet. An abundance of stainless steel brightwork was fitted. The dashboard was aircraft-inspired, and one of the first to feature a middle console over the gearbox. On FV and FV1 models, the dashboard was entirely upholstered in leather. The rear seats folded flat to provide a luggage platform and additional access to the boot. In 1955 the engine capacity increased to 4.8 liters and 200 horsepower. 147 kilowatt fv1 the fv1 was also 12 centimeters 4.7 inches longer than the original design of these early fvs were built in 1954 and 1955. seven were convertibles but as these suffered from rigidity troubles all but a handful of the rest of the large two-door fassels were pillarless coupes introduced in october 1955 the fv2 featured a panoramic aka wraparound windshield the trompe l'oeil dashboard was metal, hand-painted to look like burled wood by Marcel Bigot, the head of Fassel's paint department. Referred to as the FVS in the United States, the car featured the same 4.8-liter engine as in the FV1, albeit now offering 250 horsepower, 184 kilowatt. During 1956, the 5.4-liter FV2B appeared, with 285 horsepower, 210 kilowatt, and substantial added torque. One single FV2 convertible was built and exhibited at the company's stand at the 1955 Paris Salon, while two FV2B convertibles were built in 1956 for customers in the United States. One FV3 convertible was also finished, in spite of Danina's reluctance to offer the body style due to its lack of rigidity. The FVS was also offered with a three-speed automatic, and front disc brakes were available from 1958. At some point a reworked, more harmonious front end was introduced for the FV3 model, featuring what looked like twin stacked headlights but what were actually headlamps on top and auxiliaries beneath. Plymouth's polyspheric 4.5-liter, 277 power pack engine replaced the DeSoto Hemi unit. Maximum power was down to 200 horsepower, 147 kilowatt. Power steering and power brakes were both standard as of 1957. As Plymouth replaced the 277 engine with the bigger bore 301 for the 1957 model year, Fassel did the same and called the resulting model the FV3B. In addition to the new 253 horsepower, 186 kilowatt engine, the FV3B also received new, slightly longer and wider bodywork on cars built after the first batch of 12 cars had been completed in March 1957. For 1958, the engine grew to 5.8 liters, FV4, and 325 horsepower, 239 kilowatt. Although the earlier 4.5 and A4.9, FV3, FV3B, were still listed as available and the three models were built alongside each other. In total, 357 FVs and FVSs were built. A four-door version, called the Excellence, was added to the lineup in 1958, but was even more rarefied than the two-door version. French publisher Michel Gallimard was driving his FV2 on January 4, 1960, when he lost control and crashed outside of Bilblevin. The crash killed him and one of his passengers, Nobel laureate Albert Camus. 
Some have speculated that the driver was not familiar with the car's handling and weight, and that contributed to the severity of the crash. For 1959, the Fasil Vega HK500 was introduced. Essentially, it was just a renamed, upgraded FVS. Equipped at first with a 335 horsepower, 246 kilowatt, 5.8 liter V8 from the FVS, the HK500 soon received a 360 horsepower, 265 kilowatt, 6.3 liter Chrysler V8, giving it a top speed of 147 miles per hour, 237 kilometers per hour. It could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in 8.5 seconds. Initially, disc brakes were optional, becoming standard in April, 1960. The Fasil Vega II replaced the HK500 in 1962, after 489 had been built. One was a specially made convertible, total FVHK production was 842, or 846 depending on the source. 